This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, Hey guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, 638 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Hanging with you guys. And we got a crew with us across the Mayhem Nation, Pennsylvania, and, and in studio. First of all, what's that? It's a veritable World Cup of people from <laughs> The world. Yes, yes, it's the World Cup of Mayhem. Bobby F. J. Town joining us from uh, Floodtown, USA, Johnstown. Part of America. That's a part of the world. It is part of America slash the world. Good job. Mm-hmm. Good job being part yeah, of the I world. Know my, I know my geometry. <laughs> yes, exactly. And also with us from Monroeville, PA, is... That's not... That's Zambo not. Town. The Riz. Hi. Hey. Zambo. Zambo Town, USA. Riz Place Games. <laughs> Rips, Rips plays games. I'm actually going to get uh, to play the new WWE 2K19 game soon. Oh, boy. Oh, and boy. And you know what that means, Sorg. Mm. Oh, the Rumble. Rumble. Yeah, and you had a very ah. important uh, question to go with that on the group of whether to and, use. Uh, I forget who it was that recommended it. I will be doing it in big head mode. Big head yeah. mode with either Great Kali, as usual, or Kurt Hawkins. Yes. Yes. And we have a very special guest here in studio. The rather dapper new champ, the Beast Man. Oh, you moved the belt. I got to reframe you. There oh, you are. Sorry. That's all right. Look at that. Look at that shiny bit of gold if you guys are with us on video. There it is. Now, the... now you got to reframe it because I'm going to put it back. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's in the shot. <laughs> uh, you, you did the show off. That's right. We got an establishing shot. We're fine. But uh, the Beast Man, he is the Black Diamond Wrestling Champion now after a hellacious fans bring the weapons match. Oh, <laughs> hellacious is the word. I'm still feeling it after yeah. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there was something else. And if you guys are joining us live, uh, please like the Beast Man on Facebook. If you're catching us later, you should do us any do it anyways, because there is a very special video that's going to be going up if he hits a thousand likes here by the end of the show. Yeah, let's uh, we'll put it like this. We went down to uh, the Wrestling Mayhem show sponsor, Slice of Broadway, and uh, let's just say Beastman was a little hungry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, we had a lot of fun there, and we're going to have a, fun, a lot of fun on this show. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here in the chat room. You can join us on our Facebook page every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, like Dave Potter, like T- Tina Keys, like Justin. Just like uh, Billy Johnson is in the chat room, just up, popped Billy? in. Mainstream, mainstream Matt Carlin's, Alex Carr's on the West Coast. Heel Bradley. I got to enjoy some Applebee's with this weekend. Uh, Laura and so many more. Thank you so much, guys, being a part of this live with us and being part of the experience. Uh, you can also go to WrestlingMamShow.com where you can find links to subscribe to us on pay- podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platform uh, for uh, any of those or email us at that email address. Good times. Good times. Really? Good times at dot com or 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. Follow us on the Facebook page and group. A lot of great discussion has happened on the Facebook group. I'm yelling over there. Somebody somebody got me going. And it might have been Shaggy too. Wow. But we'll talk about that later. Thank you to <laughs> our streaming partners on the West Coast, the 405media.com. That carries us. Every single night at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So you can fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem. Thank you to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, including our fan of the show, $1 level contributors, Bo, Bo Diggity. Diggity. I've been waiting Woo! all week to say that. This is like your third time here, right? Yeah. I'm getting used to this now. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, I think uh, one more in your official co-host of the show. Yeah, yes. can't wait. Uh, also, uh, Ed Burke, <laughs> Bobby F. J. Town, Tina Keys, yeah. and then Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. I'm sorry, did you want to say this? Who, who has the record right now? For being on the show? Yeah. Probably me. Oh, other than you. 
I don't know. Mad Mike, probably. Right, guys? No. Who probably. else has been on you know, more than him? Here's something about no, Mad Mike I don't understand. He doesn't, middle. like, I've been watching the show now for the last couple weeks. He seems happier. He's yeah. not, I think yeah. he's more mellow. Than on this is. show? Yeah. You don't see him on Monday nights. Well, that's Monday night. It's a whole different he's, story. He's so sad. He's so sad. It's almost like he works with wrestling all the time. Well, and is having a good time. Like he works for the company. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, also thanks to our Pavke Club five dollar level uh, contributors, they get uh, some special, extra special um, um, stuff that uh, we have on the cutting room floor, including our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Christopher Bishop, Bradley, uh, Doc Remedy, and Dave Ponder of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, and our friend at the uh, Pizza Club ten dollar level, Billy Effin. Johnson. Thank you, everybody, for supporting this show. If you're finding value, get some entertainment out of it. You can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. In wrestling this week, there was a road trip. I understand. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I I watched uh, the the road trip uh, show last night after all. No, no, not the road. No, I don't mean the actual show road trip. I No, I didn't watch that one. Well, no, it wasn't a road trip. Sort of. It kind of was. It was they a, were on the road. road. There was there was there were there was a road. That is correct. And right. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville like donuts. Jeez. What? No, no, not that show. We're not talking no. about that show. We're talking no. about Super Showdown. Okay. Uh, yeah. First, they had to get Bobby. on a plane. First, yes. Because you know, I there's, mean, no, there's no roads to go from here. Yeah. To Australia. Right. What? Well, yeah. Australia. Where we're going, there are no roads. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> oh, Beast Man's making friends outside. <laughs> uh, but uh, but no, uh, generally, I, and I have this argument with Mike all the time about this was a glorified house show. I thought it was, I thought it was generally a good show in front of seventy thousand people. Honestly, I don't see much difference between this and WrestleMania anymore. Mm. No, I, no? I, I I didn't get to see all of it. I saw the last. Part and clips of the cruiserweight title match. Okay. What about you, Riz? Did you watch any of this? I watched some of it during like just I, I didn't like watch it live. Yeah. Because you know, five a.m. I five o'clock it. in the morning. It, it was it, it was helpful. <laughs> it was helpful that my plane was at six a.m. Central Time, and yeah. I got an hour and a half of it before I got on the plane, so that helped me watch it. <laughs> yeah, and and like I, like I always say. That's moments like this is why the network exists. Absolutely. So they can do something like this, right? Yeah. We can watch it in perpetuity. Mm-hmm. They, perpetuity? Yeah. I'm not sure. But, 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 yay. But yeah, it's like I watched it. I watched the parts that I wanted to watch Ooh. and then fast forward to the parts I didn't want to care about as much. Yeah. And it wasn't, uh-huh. I mean, again, it wasn't a show that was entirely vital, but I feel like you could do the same thing lately with the pay-per-views themselves i don't see much difference between this and and actually in fact i thought this was a lot more enjoyable than even hell in a cell yeah so it was like remember back in remember remember in your house yeah Mm -hmm. these international shows seem like that they seem like just fill up filler well, the they are, filler, but then there, there's like one or two things that actually do progress things, right? Like we did have, you know, a situation. We we did. Some I'm going to jump through this and choke you. <laughs> uh, from the chat room, um, R- Ronnie Ronnie Starks is saying that he enjoyed the uh, fast forward button during the show. Um, yeah. Tina saying that she tried, but with a 2 a.m. start time out there on the West Coast, uh, Junior wow. got it through it better than she did. Um, oh, hey, that's how we. That's, that's how like we, New Japan level stuff. Yeah, it is New Japan yeah. level. That's basically when New Japan starts for us. So um, Matt Carnes was calling it breakfast with Buddy. Uh, <laughs> so and uh, uh, Ty Cross says also hello to Sorg and Beast. Hey Ty Cobb. Hi, hey Ty Cobb. Hey, Perna. Hey. Who's hey, that guy? Hey, Ty. He, he I don't seems know. like a fan. He seems like a, a nice fan of the show. He does of. seem like a wonderful fan of the show. Yes. Look, yes, I'll, he does. Yeah. I, want, I want to put this over. about Something about Ty Cross. All right? Okay. Okay. He, last week, you guys were given, I was listening to the show, you guys were giving people from West Virginia a little a little, little trouble. Where were we, where were we doing? Uh, mm-hmm. You guys were talking a little smack on West Wait, Virginia. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So, uh-oh. I'm, going oh, back, I'm, I'm going back up my West Virginia brother right here okay. and say, if I have to go, 
out and go get the bone. Someone's going to get hurt if I hear anybody talk smack about West Virginia what tonight. What were we saying about West Virginia last night? Um, I forget. Last week. I, I just um, know. Beastman, remember Riz and I weren't here last week. Yeah, we, we <laughs> I I am not responsible for anything that came out of Sorg's Island. Did I see My brother lives in West Virginia. My brother lives in West Virginia, so. Okay, um, then he's, he's safe. Good. I have no relations in West Virginia. No, sorry. No. My exposure to West Virginia I mean, is also Black Diamond Wrestling. For hey, the most part. That, yeah. That's I mean almost as close well, to deep as dark as West Virginia you'll get. Is it? Yeah. Oh, so I don't need to go deeper or darker? No. Oh good. All right, guys. Oh good. Guys. I mean, fall up 76 yeah, yeah, well, producer I've, Missy, we gave her a mic this week. Yeah, I've got a microphone. Yes. We have nine hundred and ninety nine people oh, following on, people. the Boogie oh, Stamp page. We need one just one more. more. Wait, wait. Guess what? What? Beast man. What's up? The egg that I hold during the show and play with yeah. was made in West Virginia. I like it. There you go. <laughs> Blown glass. <laughs> what is, what is, is it? A, oh, a glass egg? Oh. Wow. Why this does it? A West Virginia show. You always hold that during the show? Yeah, I play with it all the time. I just like throw it around. Even though it's glass, it'll probably shatter one day. But oh. You know. oh. Um, it, looks like egg. it looks like the egg from the show Under the Dome. Um, <laughs> no. book. That's sad. nobody remembers that. that no, show. no, we don't. No, we don't. Come on now. Um, nobody remembers that show. Just like nobody's gonna remember that oh. new show with you know. Now they're tearing. Everybody's stuck on a plane or whatever it was. Now they're all drawing lines on West Virginia in the chat room. Okay. Uh, yes, Black Diamond's new sister promotion, Black Egg Wrestling by Bobby F J Town. There you go. Or blue. It's blue. Blast. Oh, it looks black on on video. Okay. <laughs> it does look just black. It yeah. looks like a black. I mean, egg. I mean, you have a webcam. How good is that going to be? So. What's nice is tonight I can actually see everybody talk instead of look at the big screen. Yeah, we fixed it. We fixed it. So <laughs> also, 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 now the sun is down. I need to fit a, f- fix the white balance on your camera. So now it's bugging me. Not that, not that the pack, podcast listeners care, but it bugs me. Um, but anyways, hey guys. Yes, producer Missy. 1,000 people are following the show. Oh! Finally, I got 1,000. Oh, oh, we got, if, look, I got, we got to add up the ante a little bit. All right. Okay. I, okay. Will po- I will post the video on Facebook, but I got 24, I got 2,496 Twitter followers. If I can get 2,500, I'll post it on oh. Twitter as well. Uh, How many, mm. how many, wait, how many is that to go? That's four. You need four more followers? On Twitter. I, well, I already followed you. Well, there's, I follow you on Twitter too. I think. Okay, okay, make it happen. Make it so, guys. <clears throat> make it happen. You guys see this video on all of the social medias. Uh, but anyways, no, I, I, I like this. Uh, I, I think it's a nice mix that they're doing these, uh, these uh, remote shows like this. Um, as I often say, uh, uh, they're going to an audience that appreciates it more. Because I mean, how many shows have they been? Pittsburgh, uh, but you know, and others that have kind of like shit on what they've been presented with on a pay per view. Right, I agree. Here, here's the thing about them going doing more big international shows than compared to what they've been doing in the U.S. It's a whole, it's this, it's a whole different fan base because everything like they don't uh, follow wrestling like we do. They don't like right. Have, they don't have like the this is awesome chance or like how they like everybody's doing. Like it's an old school mentality over there because that's what they're used to seeing. It's a whole different style than, and that's why they're like that's why you put Triple H and Undertaker down there, exactly, right? because they're they they will appreciate it more than than like a I don't want to say Chicago, but like a general U.S. crowd will probably could just kind of grown at that, absolutely, which could. a lot of us have on podcasts, yep, <laughs> you know, which would in the end, but it was good, it was a fine match, right? Yep, and I think I think you know fit that show, it was a worthy main event. Right, mm-hmm. um, and you know they're doing stuff with it, and 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 if you're not, if you haven't noticed, WWE is an all nostalgia play at this point. <laughs> you know, I mean, it plays right into that kind of stuff too. So, and maybe this is the last run for something like this because whew, Taker was looking rough on that one, it, a little bit. That one, <laughs> I know, that I know, one. I know, but but they but they turn it into a thing because uh, Triple H is saying that he seems to have. <laughs> Lost a step ever since, like their last match, so they get to play that into the story and everything. So you know, uh, the, the more interesting thing is Taker did an out of character interview. 
Like that doesn't happen, right? Mm-hmm. And I think it was it was probably like a, I think it was a radio interview in, in conjunction with promotion, right? So I, I guess if you're going to do it, it's going to be for that. Or maybe he's only allowed to be not Undertaker outside of the U.S. <laughs> so there was there was an interview years and years and years ago when they were in uh, might have been Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. Kuwait or Iran or somewhere like that. Where, was it the one where Vader? It was punched, Kuwait. Yeah. yeah, it was, it was the one Kuwait Vader. With, he had, was in jail for like yep, in the country for Vader, like yep. a week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Undertaker did an interview then, and he just sat silently. Um. So <laughs> related to this, so when I finished watching, I, I watched the uh, main event match right before Raw um, on Monday night, and it did the the autoplay feature on the Chromecast. Um. Somebody, somebody have a car going by. There's a spontaneous IndyCar race happening outside my house. <laughs> but anyways, um, what the hell was I saying? Um, th- so it also played the Global Warning Tour from 2002, which is a SmackDown show in front of 50,000 people in 2002. So this is, I mean, and, you know, and we know we know that they go to India and they're in front of like 50,000 people in these big arenas and stuff. They're just finally like kind of putting a new aspect on it by making it at least feel more important. They've always, always done this. Like these, these UK pay-per-views have always been a thing. We just never saw them here in the States until they like released them on video or something. Right. But, um, and they always kind of were, you know, um, siloed, you know, that, 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 you know, they didn't really affect anything else, but it was a show. Uh, those would be a glorified house show in comparison to what we're getting Mm -hmm. now, where there's actual title changes, you know, in the case of Buddy Murphy. Something, I I'll be honest with you. I didn't watch the Super Show because you're not getting up at five in the morning to watch wrestling. Well, that and plus I, I got my own stuff I got to worry about. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I. The one thing though, like they're always like on big show. There's always going to be a title change, mm-hmm. of some sort, something because that's the family. They're paying millions. Of they millions have to. Of dollars. Something yeah. has to happen, right? Exactly. Like Tyus O'Neil falling and almost breaking his neck through the ring. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, and we'll talk about what's coming up here for Saudi Arabia. That is a whole other situation. But in the meantime, if my voice will hold up here, I do want to give a shout out here. Man, I don't know, Bobby, I think you're going to have to take over on the ads at a certain point here. Uh-oh. But I want to give a shout out. You can go over to Indie Wrestling. Oh, That's right. IndieWrestling.us, where you can see the Beast Man in action over there in several for several promotions. I know, Beast Man. I think you are on. Every Pennsylvania promotion that we carry on there, good. Mm-hmm. Wow. He gets everywhere. He gets everywhere. He's getting even more places now that uh, that his uh, videos are popping out there on the internet. Uh, but anyways, uh, in addition to the Indie Wrestling US site, that we've re- recently launched recently launched a formal network just like those guys with the three letters uh, that we occasionally talk about. It has some. Um, WCW. No, yes, the WCW Network. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh, Joe Dabrowski's, uh stuff over there with Prime Wrestling and Premier Championship Wrestling. Uh, documentaries such as the uh, Montreal Theory and the Legend of Virgil and his traveling merchandise table. Uh, and so much more. And, of course, Duke and Doe, uh, Hardcore Memories. We released some extra content this week where they're talking about Las Vegas bachelor parties, strippers and oh meeting pco at blackcraft wrestling all part of that you can start your free trial right Which now is more dangerous at www.indywrestling.network or get the links over at indywrestling.us so um we have again we're promoting like two more pay-per-views it seems at a time here uh kind with the, what's that kind of, kind of? Promote kind of? one more than the other kind yeah. of sort of yeah you think? Yeah, they they've kind of promoted one instead of the other mm-hmm. as much. Mm. Um, black black diamond and white balance. Thank you, thank you, Alex. <laughs> we got the women's pay per view coming up, of course, um, and I'm sure there'll be plenty to talk about um, leading up to that. We're a lot closer to it. But they have fifty women to get announced. Fifty soon. women to be announced. So we already combined one. Binders match. of women. By, no, 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 no,
And yeah, knowing, a bunch of old white dudes, Sorg. Yep. Uh, okay. White American males. American males. Males. American, American males. males. American, American males. males. American, American males. males. <laughs> Sorry, that, that happens every time somebody says that. I'm sorry. In my head. I just wanted to get that out there. Mm. Mm. Old ass white dudes. So, um, I thought there's anything. Well, no. WWE is as long as they keep doing these shows, these shows and like money are just going to be attached to whatever controversy comes up. And like this has this has uh, uh, made wrestling fans woke, I may say, to what's Has going on woke? in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, like the Not good thing. guy that did the thing and disappeared. Um, yeah, we're really woke, Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Guy did, the thing. did I use that word right? Uh, Producer Missy, did I use that word right? Hashtag woke. I think you used um, it in the white dude way. So isn't that? I thought that's who used it. I don't even know anymore. Oh, is that a Kanye thing? I I don't know. I'm moving on. <laughs> well, this is this is welcome to the political mayhem show. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, man, that paycheck must be really big. Oh yeah, for them to be dealing with this, um, mm-hmm. but I mean, I guess it does make sense that they give women, the women the entire show the next the week before it to make up for the lack of them, uh, you know, being allowed in the country. Is it, 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 in shows. their minds, I think it is. Now let me let me ask you guys something. Do you think that's going to be a sellout, the all women show? The all women show? Yeah. Uh, yeah I you know what? So we, I don't think we've seen anything on that scale, right? So what do they got to sell? Like ten thousand people, twelve thousand people, right? See, it, in it, Long Island for an all women's show. That this is just gonna be sketchy yeah, about because they're like, I know people will. A lot of people are saying well, the women's revolution is the hottest thing in WWE right now, right? And this is their chance, like. This is they've already, they've already made events several pay per views. Yep, true. But yeah. this is their actual like shot to see how popular it is. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah. And I hope it does great. I hope it does well. You, they just gotta have the right matches for it. I mean, mm-hmm. Nikki Bella versus Ronda. Uh, is it Nikki or Brie taking on Nikki. Ronda Rousey? Uh, Nikki. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that's a uh, gonna be a sellout in your honest opinion? I, With that match alone, I think Ronda brings it. Ronda, yeah, I think yeah. Ronda's the Ronda, seller, yeah. right? Ronda, I think yes, she brings in the French people with like the um, total divas and stuff. That's true too. Yeah, that's, that's true too. Um, and I, honestly, she, can can we get with, with all the stuff we've talked about with the Bellas? Nikki is a pretty good wrestler. Yeah, she. Yes, like, she, like, I agree. Like, yes, she is. I like, agree. That match is actually going to be really good. Mm-hmm. She, I mean, she's not, you know, the most technically, you know, crazy, you know, wrestler. But I'm looking, other than the new crop, like a lot of them aren't, right? Uh, right. Uh, Producer Missy, you wanted to say something? Well, I was just going to say, how about a woman's perspective on this? Because yes, I, yes, yes, please, I, please help us. I do have lady bits, and you know, can I, you I, tell I us? Relate. I'm afraid. Tell us, lady. I think that it's going to be a nice push, but I'm also afraid that people are going to watch it. And then be like, oh, this isn't what I thought it was going to be. Or, yay, I support women because I watched this show. And I think it's just going to kind of get overshadowed in that. Mm -hmm. Now, with that said, we do have some pretty phenomenal female wrestlers at Mm -hmm. this point. Absolutely. Um, Nikki Bella, yeah, she's she's okay. I'm not a huge fan, primarily because of her character. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not supposed to like her character. So, congratulations, WWE. You're doing a good job for that. Um. I'm looking forward to, you know, give me, give me some Sasha. Give me some uh, Becky Lynch. Give me as much Becky Lynch as you can give me because I love Becky Lynch. Mm -hmm. Like that's the sort of stuff that I want to see. You know, I want to have some callback to some of the, you know, familiar faces that we've seen in the past, you know, Trish Stratus, that sort of stuff. We know Trish and Lita are going to be there. Exactly. So like, I'm I'm looking forward to that to see what is going to come of it. Am Mm -hmm. I expecting to have it be, Spotlight? No. Mm -hmm. But I'm expecting it to be a, hey, we helped you pave the path here, so I'm glad that you're allowing us to to celebrate and be part of this. I I think this is going to be a full show kind of, um, you know, perspective. Like, uh, your your, your Women's Royal Rumble gave you a preview of that, right? Because you had Michelle McCool and Beth Phoenix and and some other girls pop up there from the past. Corey Wilson uh, popped up in there. 
Um, and yeah. just we're spreading that across an entire show now. You know who might make a surprise appearance? Mm. Sunny. She just got out of jail today. So yeah. <laughs> just out, just out of jail. Yeah. In time. Just in time. It could, it could happen. I literally <laughs> just posted the IWC Legends show from 2011 that she was on with Jay yeah. Waller. I literally just posted that last night. Yeah. You know what would be my dream match for for this if this would happen? Hmm. Nia Jax versus Awesome Kong. Yeah, I would yes. love that. So much, yes. Oh. Nia Jax is bay. That's good. That's good. What else would you like to see? That I mean, that was they did have the the the, the glow girls there, so you never know. Yeah, I don't well, know if they have a new season coming that soon. Next but May. Next May. So yeah. I don't know. They could do something. You, you I'm, I'm getting all excited for for part two of making a murder coming out here in a couple weeks. I'm, I'm <laughs> pumped for that. <laughs> uh, producer Missy. I was just gonna say that I'm excited about um, like stuff that they've been doing with Nia Jax because again, as a larger woman, it's nice to see not everybody look like Barbie in the ring. And, and you know she, you know she's a model, right? Like yeah, she's no, like, absolutely. She, is, she was a plus size model, absolutely. So and I think that that's awesome because you know she's she's a beautiful woman. Uh, Tina's calling out uh, Bull Nakano versus Nia as well. Oh, um, Ooh, let's see. Uh, Matt wants to see uh, Brie versus Liv in a steel cage. They were playing that up in that match again. Yeah. For that, I mean, and that's that's like, is this real. What's that? I was like, is this real? Because they like Liv went after her. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like, I was like, oh. Ronnie. Ronnie says uh, Nia Jax is Bay. Hundred percent agree. Well, Dave Podner is mm-hmm. calling out. I know it's not mainstream, but he needs more Nikki Cross. Absolutely, I agree mm-hmm. with that. And and, they, and those girls are going to be on there. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I just want Alaska versus everyone. <laughs> remember, well, remember that get, first time I was here last year. Or earlier this year, I'm sorry. And you guys did that like WrestleMania game. Yeah. Why don't we do that with the women? Because because Matt Carlin needs to needs to heal up and have his sanity. Well, yeah. <laughs> because because uh, that because I mean, that would turn into mayhem. The, the mayhem of mayhem. That would be that would, like we would see stuff like Santina. Versus <laughs> Arena Whipple. Right. You know what? I hey. kind of think Santina does need to make an appearance here. Here's here's my <clears throat> thing. No. Yeah, and I think that we should is, do it because I mean maybe we not do it? maybe not like a as, mini version of it maybe not as huge as we do. Hey, but didn't we I do think, the, man, I thought we did this for the big question at one point. We did it as a big question, but we did it for a match as the big question. I think mm. that we can actually do a card. We got a couple weeks type of situation. We can see a lot. Yeah, Matt, Matt, Matt Carlin's. You're, Matt, in, Matt you're in the chat room. Matt Carlin's is. Uh, is twitching out there right now. Well, he's he's uh, actually commenting. He's like, we do women's matches no, he's, he's for Mayhem Mania. He's trying to say, he's trying to get out of it. <laughs> yeah, he's trying. Oh, he he's says, uh, trying to get out he thinks we almost booked Oscar versus Brock Lesnar last year. We, yeah. we did. Oh, no, we that. Did. Yeah, we that did. was there for a minute. Hey, Tina. Uh, that was there for Tina, is this something that we could maybe me and Oscar Tina could him. could work on? Hey, if you guys want a team on it? Uh, actually, go for that'd it. be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Have have a ladies. Let the ladies go absolutely insane by our picks. Uh yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll even see if uh, Dutters can. No, nah, Dutters is no, Dutters no, is no, dead no, this not, month. not this month. Dutters is. Duttering. Oh, Matt Carlin says he's in. There you go. There you go. Let's so make see, it happen. We'll, we'll make it happen. Um, I think listening to the only women woman on the show makes sense. Thank you, Dave Podner. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, other than that, there was some other news this week, and <clears> and <throat> it's it technically fringes on the wrestling and since people called me out on it on the group <laughs> we're not allowed to mention so <laughs> we're not, we're you not haven't to mention heard one joke you haven't heard i mean and by the way if anybody drops a magnet joke in the group i will ban you um hey, 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 hey you, no, no, you do not get to say from that here word. on from yeah. here on you can't make the rules what wait you can <laughs> i have no idea what you guys are talking about but so uh, so um <laughs> in the music news this week um you this will come around in a minute uh, Limp Biscuit uh, was uh, performing in Camden, New Jersey, at some kind of rock festival. Well, also it seems that the Insane Clown Posse was there. You know, former w- WCW superstars, and I believe just future talked Hall about a future Hall of Famers and uh, for TNA probably. Um, oh. <laughs> but yeah, WCW Hall of Famers, the Insane Clown Posse, um, and uh, uh, they were there too for some reason uh, performing. It was a stop on their tour, uh, technically, and uh, they they. They were there. Uh, 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 Durst is, is is performing, and here comes Shaggy Two Dope from the side of the stage with his big ass red shorts as he wears, and he tries to drop kick 
Fred Durst in the back. He they pretty, know. What's that? He did things his way, his way or the highway. The, yeah, something so like that. No, Durst did that. Yeah, yeah the, Durst did it his way. He yeah, no, he no sold that. This is my problem. I think it was a half decent drop kick. I think he hit him yeah, the way he's supposed good. to hit him with the drop kick. I don't know if that counts as assault because it's a drop kick. <laughs> <laughs> and damn Fred Durst for not selling the drop kick. I mean, for somebody who was in uh, one of the SmackDown video games, you should know better. He was in a SmackDown video game. Listen, that's two people on the same stage musically. That were wait was no Shaggy Two Dope was probably not in the video game. Yeah, no, they it? they were in a video uh, he game. He was in backyard were... wrestling. They whoa, well, that yeah, they, you're they, right. They, you're they, right. Guys, thing. Uh, <laughs> they were in a no wow. WW. Uh, it was the second uh, when PlayStation came out. It was the second one. The second attitude. Video game. Yeah, I think, no, 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 it was. Uh, I think oh, it was attitude. Oh, yeah. it was Warzone. Yeah, yeah. ninety eight. Uh, it was one ninety eight because that's the one when they first had the full entrances. Yeah, that was okay, okay. Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. Somebody vamp for me. Posse WWF video game. So they weren't characters though. Like, like maybe they they use their music for like the oddities or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they use the yeah, oddities even there. The oddities. What a stable. <laughs> Hell of a stable. Wow. Come on. That was great. What that was some of the stuff. That's some of the stuff that brought me back to WWF was was stuff like Kerrigan's that. Exactly. So there uh, was. This, this I need two more Twitter on. followers, guys. I'm a twenty. Two <laughs> more email. Twitter followers. Beastman Husk on the Twitter, Ooh. so we can release the video too. over there as well. Did you post the video yet? Not on the yet. Other one? Okay, maybe. Yeah. Well, uh, on we break? should post it live on the Mayhem show. Yeah, we'll do it here live on the Mayhem All show. Right. World premiere. Professionally wrestling career. World, 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 world premiere. Um, no, I can't find anything except backyard wrestling. Apparently. But that doesn't mean they're. Um, oh wait 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 wait. Uh, ICP in old WWF Attitude video game. Attitude. Oh, that no, was Attitude. Yeah, it was Attitude. I don't know. This guy's talking over over everything. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think well, we got the headphones this, so we don't have to hear them. Yeah yeah. Hey buddy, I'm here. I'm going to show you this cool thing in WWF Attitude. Oh, he's showing you how to make them. Hey guys. Hey, oh, they hey, have. Hey. No, they, they do have the face paint. Do, do you oh, know? Do you know who just jumped in here? Who just jumped in there? Joe Dombrowski is in the phone? chat room. Joe guys. Dombrowski is in the chat room. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> um, Sorry, we're talking about ICP right now. Yeah, we are talking about ICP right now. I think Joe and I have had some good conversations about ICP in the past. Oh, and Jesse's also in there too. There you go. Um, but anyways, uh, are you? Wait, wait. First, first of all, are you dissing somebody who did a video about video game sort? No, no, no! I just I, I wanted to just see the video. I don't want the guy. This guy does not get airtime. See on how it show. is. I see how it is. No, uh-huh. I see how it is. Uh-huh. No, it's not like he's Riz plays games. they will be doing extra life this weekend here in the studio well, and on the Twitch yeah, for Cybertron no, Media. Well, uh, I will be there. Mm-hmm. And, I will be there. Yeah, it's not like our, our good friend Slice on Broadway who support per- piss from per- blah, blah, blah. To support Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect so, pepperoni pizza right up the street here in Pittsburgh. Four locations. Uh, and uh, the Beastman just got the Slice on Broadway experience. Or at least the Slice on Broadway got the Beastman experience here. Uh, go check them out. Uh, they've been super- supporting the podcast for a good long time. And uh, they are wrestling fans up there as well. Um, so, and hashtag, please hire our mm-hmm. friend to Slice on Broadway. Uh, <laughs> hashtag, don't kick the door. Man. We had a conversation. Uh, but uh, anyways, no, thank uh, you so much. Slice on Broadway, slice on Broadway.com, PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. And I think their Twitter is about to blow up uh, as well yeah. as uh, right now. If you're here with us live, I guess in a moment, we are going to release to the internets. Yeah, I say we do. World it. premiere. You guys go follow <laughs> Beastman Husk on the Twitter. Did he, did you, did you get your uh, followers yet? Uh, we got two more. We got two more. Joe, follow but me on Joe, Twitter. Joe, go follow Joe. Beastman Husk on Twitter, Joe. so we'll release Joe. this video over there. But it is going live on the Facebook. And we'll just get, take you know, a minute for that to go up and accounts. see about uh, everybody's reaction in the chat room here live. But in the meantime, we'll talk about the big question right after this. So- sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. We are back. Wrestling Mayhem Show. Black Diamond Champion, the Beast Man is with us, as well as our friends the Riz and Bobby J Town. Yo, and it is time for the big question. 
Hey guys, hairstyles have been kind of the talk this week. Thanks for uh, you know, the last past few weeks because of somebody who came back and uh, showing off his uh, exposed head piece. Um, on <laughs> what's that? Exposed head is my uh, cover <laughs> band for, for I don't know what. anything. Um, anything. So there's a big question suggestion that was uh, uh, submitted by Matt Carlins, mainstream Matt Carlins. Which wrestler would you least like to see shave their head? Oh, oh. Huh. Um, so who should not get a shave their head? Um, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, right? Yep. I mean, it freaked me out when he had, like, short hair and, like, nipple piercings when I saw him one time. Uh, whoa. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. Were, Riz, you were there for that, right? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stuff of. Yeah. You didn't oh, have to be wow. ringside with a camera on that. And that was when he was Zodiac. Oh, anyway. Sorg. Riz, oh, Riz, Sorg Riz, Riz, are you okay? No. No? Ooh, Producer not. Messi? I would I would have said Shawn Michaels, but we've seen this. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Too yeah. late. That's too yeah, late. Yeah, it's, too it's, late. It's already too late. Too late. too late. You know what? I was thinking a lot too about this late. with the conversation about hairstyles and stuff. Hulk Hogan. Well, no. yeah. I mean, I know he's holding on to it, was, but it's so iconic at this point. He, he's held yeah, on to that, it long enough. He's not allowed to lose the rest of it. No. Yeah, I there always heard no, there was a rumor yeah. that Hogan had like hair extensions glued or something on the yeah. back of his hair. That makes sense. Bandanas. That makes sense. Sewed into the back of it, especially these days, right? Of he doesn't, the he doesn't yeah. have to be in a ring where it's going to get knocked off. Nope. So, yeah, there was that one moment in WCW when he was with the NWO where he had like the short hair. Mm -hmm. He didn't have him. He didn't have the skullet. He just had a sh the short, high and tight. Wait, 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 you mean when he had, still had the wig on from uh, oh, he when he did? Macho like, Man? Yeah, we were still watching like yeah. right after Three Ninjas, so he still had the yeah. hairpiece. Was that a hairpiece? Yeah, yeah, he had a hairpiece from Three Ninjas. Ooh. Wow. And I think wow. Macho Man ripped it off. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, they played with it a little bit. So, um, I don't know why I'm getting I'm going to go and say Mr. America. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Just to be different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say the Macho I actually got one. Okay, go ahead, Riz. Uh, Jericho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. during his, like during his entire. Oh, we gotta pause here. Riz, Riz, oh, gone. Riz, Riz. Where you at? Oh, don't leave us hanging, Riz. Chris Jericho cut off his stream. Oh no! He says no, <laughs> no. Why to jade his ass? Um, um. Anyways, can we can well, we my... talk about Chris Jericho and how he's just like, just I don't know. Just what? do weird stuff. Wait, well, that's not what the big question is, but Sorg. I know. I, I have, yes. I have yes. a legit, yes. Pro producer have a legit one. Producer Missy. He's my favorite wrestler, but come on. Producer Missy. Elias. Elias. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. I got a chat room re response, but I don't want to. I, I um, Riz needs to come back for it. Ty Cross says Gannon Jones Jr. <laughs> okay. I bet you can pull it off. Um, Alex Card says his choice is AJ Styles. Yeah, I, okay. he's done short hair before. Yeah, AJ though. needs think... AJ needs well, the, the, short the is, long flowing. Yeah, yeah. Titanic. Short is different than shaved. That too. is true. That is true. Um, Tina says AJ Styles and Ric Flair. Yeah, Ric Flair. He, like he's got to have yeah. that 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 gray mop uh, so going on. Here's here's a thought. Mm -hmm. I'm picturing John Cena bald, and all I'm thinking Tanahashi. is All I'm thinking is Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor? You think like him as a Lex Luthor? That's all I'm seeing when I'm picturing it in my head. I'm trying to he figure out. I've been trying type. to figure out what he did differently with his hair, and it's just he grew out the sides, right? Yeah, because he always does like that high and he he does a he does like a. a I got two. Not from... a flat top, but yeah, like that's that where I was going that, with it. But it's more of a military. It's a military it's crew yeah. cut thing, right? So, yeah. what about you, Beast Man? Uh, uh, one one, would you go? Would you do the deed? Would you go, shaved head Beast Man? Uh, I did it for a while. Uh, oh, really? Back when I first started. Like, oh, that's right. I would say Ziggler. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he has the most unique hairstyle, I think, right now. So, Or Daniel Bryan, when his hair is long. Mm -hmm. Especially him being, you know. like Well, he's had shaved head before, hasn't he? 
Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I mean, that, that's so much his character now. He kind of kind of needs to maintain that as long as he's in there. I mean, he mm-hmm. can always go away and come back like uh, McFoley does with a new new dude like that. But I don't know. I think that's that's just him right now. I got a serious answer. Okay. Uh, Tanahashi. From New Japan. Like okay. He has the luxurious mane. Yeah. Like you don't want to see that go away. Yeah. He, he changed his hairstyle because of a movie, and everybody freaked out in Japan. <laughs> it was like a national tragedy. Um, also, Matt Collins says Rob Van Dam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Geez, uh, he's not here, but Justin's saying uh, Carlito or Kali. Yeah. I don't think Kali could lose it. Kali could probably, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so let us know. Who do you think should not lose their hair? And maybe we'll get the Riz back to give the rest of his answer. <laughs> Drew McIntyre. We already have a tall, bald dude on Raw. Killian Dane. Killian Dane. <laughs> I mean, All the hair. He's early enough, though. He, he's not really <laughs> settled in. You're not used to him with the hair, right? With Killian Day. It's all hair. Jeez, he's did, all hair. Where does Sanity go? Are they on show tonight? Tanahashi's I hair. Think, I don't. They don't know what to do with. Tina Sanity. says Tanahashi's hair is too pretty for words. It is. It's beautiful, man. Mm. You shall respect it. <laughs> all right, we're going to talk with the Beast Man about what's been going on with him lately. Including that uh, that extra bit of gold he's got hanging out over there with him, but in the meantime, I want to get a shout out to our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling and OccupyProWrestling.com. Hey, hey, our friends Alex over there uh, wants to show their support for a good cause for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and they'd uh, love uh, love to have you be a part of it when you buy uh, their merch at What a Maneuver. Uh, 50% of all normal merch proceeds will go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Uh, but wait, there's more. We're fin- They're finally releasing merch with their logos and they even have it in pink and 100% of the proceeds from those items will go to the BCRF, the, uh, the uh, Breast Cancer Awareness. Uh, I'm sorry, Breast Cancer Research Fund. You can check it all out at Occupy Pro Wrestling. Uh, dot com and a quick link to whatamaneuver.net and get more info on the Breast Cancer Research Foundation at bcrf.org. So go check that out. A great cause and a great to support our friends over there at Occupy Pro Wrestling. So, uh, Beast Man, like I said, a lot has happened since we've had you last on. I think when we first had you on, you were you just had done the Walmart picture. Uh, it was a while before that, actually. It was a while before yeah. that, and um, and you've been visiting a lot of places. Mm-hmm. Um, tell us a little bit about about how this kind of came to be. Well, all right. Uh, I was the short story is after a match, I went with uh, a couple other wrestlers to a, a gas station to go get some uh, get some something to drink. And I'm I'm still like I literally just got out of the ring and we just left head down to the gas station, so I'm just sitting there and I'm just like looking, just to sound like and I told my buddy I'm like, what if I go in there in my gear and try to buy something? And he he's just like I'd be the greatest thing ever. So I'm like thinking like what I could do to like to be able to make this funny, because like I mean obviously me I mean I've I've gone into way before us, so I've gone into gas stations or whatever, grocery stores in my gear to buy stuff before. Hence the Walmart picture. Yeah. Like, that was legitimate. Like, you were seriously going to get something to eat. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like, it's not like I'm not used to, like, walking around half naked anyway. So, uh, so I just, like, so I went, I found some rocks uh, outside and I walked, I told my buddy Jared, like Wilbur, well, I told my friend Wilbur, I'm like, Wilbur, go film me doing this. So we filmed the thing, got it in one take, got the, f- the hell out of there because God knows what was going to happen. Posted on Facebook the next day, got about seven, 8,000 likes. Things were going good. So it's that's how it started. Mm-hmm. And last month we were there uh, for the world. We were like, I'm like thinking, like, what can I do to. What can I do to like keep this going? Because like I usually, if I post like a video or something, I'll get like two or three hundred views. And yeah, like, like a typical like Facebook video, that's what normally a lot of people get. So like, what can I do to like keep it going? So we were, I was coming back from the Lord Zoltan benefit to Black Diamond. I uh, I was hungry, so I had to stop at Walmart, get something, to, uh, grab something to eat real quick, and 
Uh, my buddy posted a picture. I took a picture of me looking at a thing of lettuce. <laughs> Two, three hundred likes. I mean, it was just a picture. So I'm like, okay, on to something. So the world, so like, and people was like, oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do this. You need to do that. I'm like, I'd love to do all this stuff, but I mean, it's hard to, I, I don't think a lot of people would accept me going into a, a restaurant and throw chairs and act like a, like a buffoon, like act like me and like, they said, I, mean, I don't want to get arrested for disorderly mm-hmm. conduct or anything. So, last month, we are at me. It was me, J. Rue, uh, my trainee at the Black Diamond School. And uh, of all people, David Marbell was with us, and we all went and got lunch. So, we were sitting there talking, and like, I, I was, and I asked, I managed to come over and ask her, I was like, Miss, I, I'm going to show you something. Should I show you the gas station for you? Like, are we able to come back in here and do this? Mm. And she's like, I can't, I don't care, but she had to call the regional manager. The regional manager is actually my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I found out. And 20 minutes later, we got the okay. So we go back, we go do the video. We shoot it, come back, do the battle royal and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Posted the next day, 20,000 views in one day. So... And, and this is on, this was Twitter, right? No, this is Facebook. This is on Facebook. Facebook. Okay. And the funny thing was, the day after I posted, like two days after I posted that video, I got offered work in uh, Indiana, Alabama, Florida, and in New Jersey. Well, New Jersey, I was already, like, I finally was able to get a booking there for where I met PCO and all those guys. That's mm-hmm. why I was kind of chuckling earlier when you were talking about that, so... And we'll have to have you and Duke Davis tell and search Shirley Bell about PCO. I love uh, he the funny story. My PCO story is like I walked up to him, put out, shook my hand, said, hello, sir. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Just walked right past me. I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? Like, what's, what did I do to this guy? I never met the guy before. Found out I was on his blind side. So because he's blind <laughs> in one eye. He did have yeah. an eye patch. Yeah. So I had like, so after he's like, oh, hey, how you doing? Really cool. Like, really cool guy. Really nice guy. So, I mean, now it's it's kicking off for me. I'm getting a lot of, like, my Facebook's kicking. Like, my Facebook's getting a lot more views now. Uh, people are asking, hey, when's your next video? I got ideas. I got people wanting to do this. So, it's just a matter of just trying to get everything together. And I'm hoping it leads to somewhere. I mean, it's working. I mean, one thing I was always taught, if you don't take the risk, you can't read the rewards. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. and we took a risk tonight, <laughs> and this thing's going to go, I know this thing's going to go viral. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With our friends at Slice on Broadway. We did show that video to everybody on the live stream yeah. here at, at the break, so they could check that out. And that'll be over on, that's over on the Beastman Facebook page, yep. and I think we broke the number. That will be on the Beastman Twitter as well. Yep. So... so. Um, so, it, it, I was pretty amazed. You, you, you left a bit of an impression on our community. Um, you were a part of the Lucha Fiesta uh, a few weeks ago here, across mm-hmm. literally across the street from where we're, we're recording right now. And no announced match with you or anything, but you just kind of came out at intermission and just did intermission. Yep. Which, and you had a lot of time because there was some... There was it was a long intermission. Yeah, so. it was long. <laughs> so I mean, you did, you you were in a bouncy house. You were in you 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 were you were uh, uh, trying to get in a porta potty. <laughs> you actually interrupted. I was about to have a quick interview with Ray Lynn, and uh, you interrupted that. But I mean, <laughs> sorry, Ray Lynn. <laughs> That's why she's at the beginning of the video when we have that up there too. Um, and including the biggest thing was this little stare, staring contest you had with a little girl that was just like standing up to you. <laughs> And we grabbed the picture out of it, and that's gone like everywhere. Yeah. Since, and it's like probably one of my favorite things in pro wrestling right now. That's great. So, um, I, I mean, what? <laughs> um, so again, a whole different, and that, and it was like, interesting because it was like a very you know like Mexican crowd with the Lucha Fiesta and everything. You know, like it was, what was it like kind of doing the Beast Man thing in front of like that kind of crowd like that. Honestly. There, it's hard to explain. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a, I, I ha, I'm not, I have no fear mm-hmm. in anything. Like I, when it comes to talking to women, I'm very shy. I mean, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of saying that. But like when it comes to like improvisation or having a camera on me, like the attention, the spotlight, I have no fear mm-hmm. at all whatsoever. 
and you get if I can go out there if you want if something needs to be done I can do it. Like I mean all the stuff that we did, nothing. Not, I mean that was just me being me, mm-hmm. just having a good time. I mean you can't have fun doing what you love to do. It, it's going to be difficult, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. And of course this weekend you had a lot. You had two championship matches. <sighs> <laughs> yes and uh, unfortunately saturday i came up short but sunday yes i got the the belt that i've been wanting for the last 15 years and it's feels pretty good to have it mm-hmm. feels really good to have it that's awesome that's awesome uh so check that out a great match um uh, up here at the end of the week uh we're gonna have a match up with uh or the the show from rise wrestling rise with a y uh, pre-orders are already up there over at IndieWrestling.us. Get your pre-orders. The edits, ha- the edits have started. <laughs> It'll be up as soon as I can get that done and rendered and everything like that. So, I got, I'll tell you what. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't usually do this, and I, I it might break for fall. I don't care. Uh, s- this past like I got two big matches over the weekend. So mm-hmm. sp- Saturday was with Matt Conard. Mm-hmm. Sunday was with Gavin Jacobs. Matt and I have gone. I've known Matt since he first. I was since I first started. I was there for Matt's first ever match down in Southern West Virginia. I've known Matt for for the last ten years, and from where he has gone to now, he is going to be a it, it, within the next five years. If he's not on national TV somewhere, people are missing out. He's that good. His character is great. The guy he is a great dude outside the ring, and I. It was an honor to be in the ring with him and have that match mm-hmm. Saturday. And it was taught like that was probably one of the best matches I had this year. I would definitely say that what top five matches this year for sure. Uh, I'm not one to like give myself like all oh, this top five, top ten, but if I did, that would be it right there. And Sunday, uh, Gavin, uh, he he and I go way back. We've been. Like we started, like we started at the same time. We went our separate ways for a while. We came back and being able to the last like four or five months, like the program we've had, uh, has been has been great. Just being able to like do something with somebody that you've started with and have like I would say Sunday was one of the hardest hitting matches I've had. I mean, I still got a scar. I still got a red scar on my back from that match. That probably ain't gonna go away anytime soon. And uh, I was just happy to be able to do that from my hometown crowd. Uh, nice to have my mother there, which she's still mad at me for making her come out on a Sunday <laughs> night while <laughs> she could be watching uh, football. But I mean, it's, what, I I don't know if this is gonna be the only time I have it. I plan on keeping it for a while. I don't see I mean, everybody's been saying it's about time you got it, well deserved. I think the my pick like example like uh, I posted a picture of me with the belt after my match, four hundred and fifteen likes in one day. So, by so I mean I'm I guess I'm kind of popular. I don't know, <laughs> but. Uh, Something's happening there, Some, right? Something's happening, and I'm hoping here. Like I, I hope next year is my. Like, this year's been a great year, mm-hmm. and there's still two more months to go. I hope next year is my breakout year. Like I'd love to be able to go. I, I'm getting offers right now to go to. I'm going to Chicago in January. Going back to Jersey next mm-hmm. month, and is this, is this the most traveling you've done? No, oh, no, I've done a no, lot either. more than this. I've done yeah, a lot. Yeah. yeah, in my in my younger day, and not my younger days. When I used to live downstate, I used to, I would travel to like Evansville, Indiana, every Wednesday, seven mm. hours from Charleston to to wrestle uh, at the old, one of the old Memphis territory towns, which was great. Uh, drive to Tennessee, drive to Virginia, drive to North Carolina, just. But back then, that was like only like three or four or five hours. That wasn't really too far. Now, like Jersey's been the furthest I've been to, travel wise, like this year. So I I hope next year I get to go out west a little bit. Love to go to California, Texas. Like try to get out there. Like go back to Florida. So I mean things are going well. I can't really complain. That's awesome. That's awesome. There was a 
question from the chat room, I believe it was from Tina, uh, asked uh, how crazy was that um, fans bring the weapons match? Uh, I can get, okay. It was crazy for what we did. It wasn't, I could go, I've had matches where I've gone insane, mm -hmm. where it's like the building's been torn up afterwards, but yeah, that's just, that's minor compared to some of the stuff I've done. <laughs> There's a little picture I have on my, my Instagram, uh, Sorotron over there. There's a tire in the ring. Uh, it was a Pontiac, by the way, I noticed. <laughs> um, you know, tables and everything, a bowling ball. Uh, it was it was it was quite a sight, and, and I, was, I was proud to be, be able to have a chance to, uh, to 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 film that. So we'll we'll have that here uh, once we get past my workload here. Well, Sorg, <laughs> let me ask you something. You filmed it. What did you think? Uh, it was fun. It was fun. It was. It, it, I only slightly felt dangerous <laughs> in, in danger during it. Hey, so. we, we. I think I gave you the best GIF ever, though. Yes, GIF you ever, did. Yeah. Yes, you did. There's one going around that I put out. I think it's through the indie wrestling Twitter account, probably. Yeah. Uh, where you got hit in the back of head with the by by her man by his manager, and she was running around. You threw another. It was another cookie sheet. Yeah. She slipped, I think, on the other side and just popped up like a like a gopher out of a hole, you know, on the on the other side. <laughs> it's like it was like a living cartoon <laughs> like, <laughs> that we should have put music to or something. Hey, it's not too late. Uh, Bradley is agreeing to. Yes, yeah, true. I did not get to that edit yet. So um, Bradley is also agreeing on the uh, Matt Connard part. Also, he tells the best knock knock jokes we've discovered on the show. Connard. Yes. Oh. Hold on a what are you doing? I'm gonna call him. Gonna You're gonna him. call him. I'm gonna call him. Like I want a knock knock joke. <laughs> Hopefully he's listening. All right, Beast Man is perfect for a three two one battle out there in Seattle. Says Tina. So there you go. Get it. Get hook it. Hook it up. Yeah. Hook it up. Get him out there. Uh, they're Beast Man for Chikara. They're calling for a Riz who's who's dropped off from us. I know we we were kind of pushing for that. I think you'd do great in Chikara. Beast Band versus Wheels Handicap Match. No. We've had that before. No. We, you've had that before? That was Bulldozer. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so we're going to, uh, while you're calling him, I'll go ahead and go to an ad just so we can kind of. He's not answering. Oh, he's not answering. Probably asleep. He's probably going to yell at me, call and yell at me tomorrow. Why you don't call me at 1030 at night for? <laughs> he's got he's to get his beauty sleep, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, he's, de he's, he's deaf. I mean, death don't need to sleep. That's right. There's that's right. Th there's two things you can never avoid. And that's death and taxes. So I got off the Bruce Pritchard show, which is so true. <laughs> Tell that to Wesley Snipes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. I think taxes he knows, right? Um, but anyways, uh, speaking of, you can see a little bit of that action. You had a little bit of a, a mix up with uh, Mambo here across the street. Yo, Mambo. Officially as part of as of lucha fiesta yes and that of course is playing right now over on fight tv uh it was the lucha fiesta pittsburgh making its debut over there a couple weeks ago featuring ultimo dragon sam adonis pittsburgh's own and brother Corey graves and then doing crazy stuff in cmll bull james shocker and uh carisco formerly known as mystico and the original Sin Cara, and more it's playing over there at fight tv look up lucha fiesta Pittsburgh. If you notice, there's a Lucha Fiesta that's now uh, announced as a tour yep. in Japan with a lot of those guys as well. You you forgot one very important name though. Uh, mm -hmm. You didn't bring up, and what? that is the Pittsburgh debut of Mojo McQueen. Oh, so he was awesome. Mojo is phenomenal. He uh, when I was when I was up at war earlier this year, I got to meet him. I got to wrestle him once up there, and he's so good. He's great. Big, he's a he's one of those like big guys that can move. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of like me. Yes, exactly. I know. <laughs> we have a kind of a newer videographer that's been shooting with us at Rise, and uh, he he's been he he had a few close calls during your match. It <laughs> 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 was kind of surprised about how how quick everything went uh, in that. So, all right. But uh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, we need to find out, and we, we did lose. Uh, uh, Riz to the internet, apparently, but he is in the chat room, so he's yeah. okay out there. Hi, Riz. I'm uh, glad you're okay, buddy. Yes. Uh, so, what did you learn from wrestling this week, Bobby of J Town? Um, Me first. Sorry, I caught you. Um, I caught you drinking over there. Yeah, you did. Um, you shouldn't drink in in uh, podcast. I'm I'm ready. If, if <laughs> oh, hey, one. producer Missy, um, what'd you learn? What? I, oh, sorry, I was letting you drink. Oh, I thought you needed a moment. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Please okay. first. Ladies. I learned 
how amazing the local wrestling community is. Mm -hmm. We had a bit of an incident happen at the IWC show this week and shout out lots of love going to Sean Phoenix. Uh, He suffered a pretty decent injury, but the community has completely come together and it's all love and Mm -hmm. it's great. I mean, people from different, different feds, different communities, different, doesn't matter. Everybody's coming together and it's, it's awesome. It's uh yeah I, I was not at that show I know you were Missy and and Bobby um um yeah he uh, uh took a bad um move went wrong through a table basically and uh he hit his head pretty bad uh, including crack skull and uh, some other issues as well detailed over on um he has been updating his Facebook and his Twitter account so you know he's been you know he's at that point at least so if you want to uh, updates on everything going on there wishing him the best. Uh, it's been uh, seeing Sean kind of grow in the last couple of years has been pretty amazing, and uh, and uh, he's it's he'll he'll get back at it I think mm-hmm. uh, one way or another. So um, so uh, you know uh, thoughts go out to him and please uh, Mayhem Nation go hit him up and uh, give him your best as well, please. And and again just seeing the community just do this is it's I think it's it, it feels like kind of as at least for the local indie scene like I've never seen so many. And not even just with this, just positive vibes between this and the stomp out cancers and a lot of the other things that in conversations that are happening amongst this community of, of wrestlers out there. So Bobby, follow that up. Um, I learned <laughs> that if you pray and wish for something hard enough, it will happen. Oh yeah. David Arquette and RJ <laughs> city <laughs> are coming to Pit- to Pittsburgh. Yes, they are. I'm so excited. Oh, uh, you know what we need to do? What? We need to have Riz interview the two of them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly With... what needs to happen. Or we could also do puppets too. <laughs> or what <laughs> they also... would think of the puppets. Let's say RJ, listen. Do you want Riz to interview the two of you? I want to Or Bobby with the puppets? I want to interview all of the above. I want to interview RJ with a puppet. I want you to interview David Arquette with a puppet. David Arquette will look at me and like, what the hell am I getting no, into? I no, think, I think it'd be all... You know, I think he already had that question when he got back into wrestling. Uh, That's true. That is true. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. We got to see if we can do something with that. Uh, mm-hmm. Beastman, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Or what did you learn about Slice on Broadway? <laughs> four, th- Actually, four things. There's four things I learned this week. You wrestled a lot this weekend, so you're yeah. allowed. Yes. Uh can't beat the Reaper. Mm-mm. That's the first thing. Mm-mm. And the Reaper tells good not dog jokes. So that's all one thing. Uh, Sean, if you're listening to this, I love you. You're my brother. I'm praying for you. I hope you have a speedy recovery. I hope to see you in the ring soon. Mm-hmm. That's the second thing. We're all behind you. We all hope you're going to be better. Um, congratulations to Shane Taylor for his upcoming matches with Jeff Cobb. And who else was it? That you're saying? Oh, Adam Page. Adam Page. Uh, props to you, brother. You deserve everything you get. And he'll, and he'll be back in West Newton later in uh, uh, October here. Yep. And Shane met the turtle puppet. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And Almost crushed him. <laughs> <laughs> With his hand. And uh, just blessed, man. That I, I'm like, And I'm blessed for everything that's been happening for me as of late. So, well, that's not really that's more a personal matter. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> other than other than okay, other than sh- praying for Sean, happy for Shane, the Reaper telling good knock knock jokes. Uh, I learned that tire and a rim makes a pretty good weapon. So, yes, it did. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. What was the best weapon out of that out of that stash there? Well. Probably the tire, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Cause uh, you had there was crutches. There was uh, I like the oar. I like the uh, boat oar. That was fun. They just obliterated and 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 led to the best worst joke in the entire thing. And that the oar I have to shout out came from Bradley Rothers. Yes. thank yes. you, Bradley. So yeah, he was. I, I think she came in and said, "You're up a creek without a paddle or something," <laughs> like in the middle of the match. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, from the chat room. Uh, Riz learned not to talk about Jericho's hair because he'll be eliminated from the internet. Uh, he was. 
delete, delete, delete. Um, Tina learned uh, not to anger Beastman with an angry uh, pizza box. Oh, no. It's Super Oprah. Super Oprah's calling you right now? Hello, hello Jabari. <laughs> hello? Is he, does he know he's... What? Is he watching? I'm on the... I'm on the uh, Mayhem show still. You're 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 live with me right now. Tell tell him he's invited. You're invited to come out. You're invited. Too. You should come out sometime. Yeah, I know, but oh. you're not on speakerphone, so. <laughs> <laughs> do you want Do you want to be on speakerphone? I'll call you here in about twenty minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> live podcasting All ladies right. and gentlemen also from <laughs> the chat room <laughs> <laughs> he does this every show i'm on he does doesn't yeah he? i just like the first thing he says you're probably gonna have to censor this but he's like he's like you fat eh, eh, you, you know what i'm talking about that's, that's, just, okay. how, that's just how we talk yeah <laughs> Also from the chat, what did, what did I not get to? Justin said that he learned that uh, letting Beastman in a restaurant is risky business. And uh, I think that's all I got in here right now. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, this Wednesday night, we got a double feature Indie Mayhem show. Uh, another batch of the students from the IWC Wrestling School who just debuted. And I believe we're having the two guys that debuted mm-hmm. against DJ Z and Dylan Bostic, respectively, in their first matches. And... Uh-huh. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And also, Facade is joining us at 10 p.m. Eastern Time to talk to us about his recent travels. Uh, international superstar, Damn Facade, right. we're going to say right now. Damn right. Uh, we can put that in front of him, in front of DJ Z. We can put that in front of Gory. Um, geez, who else has been around a good bit? Well, the Gambino brothers, technically, yes. Yeah. Hentai. So it's good to see you guys getting out there in front of different crowds all around the world. Also, Bradley learned that his toaster gets wrestlers fired. Were you there for that when? story? No. I'll tell you after here. Uh, so <laughs> we were talking about weapons and fans bringing weapons wow. and everything like that and weird stuff. So he brought toaster and apparently, supposedly it might have gotten somebody fired. Did he bring the toaster Sunday? I don't know. No, this was another show. Oh, okay. Uh, so with that, thank you so much, the Beast Man. Beast Man. Wait a minute. Hus- wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Miss? Did you talk about Scarehouse? Yes, you gotta oh, bring that up. Oh, Scarehouse this Sunday is gonna be uh, pro wrestling also, night. It's gonna be pro wrestling night as a Scarehouse. Come out, see the wrestlers. Um, um, Honey Badger, Jinx, Chris LaRusso, the main event, PB Smooth, and so many more are gonna be a part of that. Uh, there's a few promos over there on IndiaWrestling.us's uh, social media. That they're getting dropped into the uh, chat room right now. What's that? Oh, and they're, they're in the chat room right now. And also Saturday, Bobby F. Town will be amongst them. They'll be here in the studio. Bobby's getting oh, in his car. What's that? For the first time ever. You've never been here? I've never been in the oh, studio Oh, shit. Here we go. It is yeah, a party. We're going to be there for 24 hours. 24 hours we of video games. Might, we might have some special guests lined up. Might be. We might be so the mayhem show. So keep an eye out there for uh, we'll be tweeting all the links. So we'll have a couple streams going on here uh, from the studio uh, and, and everybody else because a couple people won't be in the studio. So we'll be uh, doing a lot with that. So keep an eye for that. That'll be Saturday. I think starting at noon till Sunday at noon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We changed the, t- the time to. And to uh, you can check out information um, uh, for the Scarehouse itself. Come on out, buy a ticket over at scarehouse.com. Uh, they're running, I believe, 6 to 9 o'clock on Sunday, and the wrestlers will be around, and you can hang out with uh, all of us there and uh, <laughs> see the before and after of some of these guys going <laughs> through the Scarehouse. Too. That's what it's going to be like for Extra Life, too. Before <laughs> and after. Yes, yes, exactly. It's going to be a hell of a weekend. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Beastman, Beastman Husk on all the social media, right? Damn right. The current Black Diamond champion. Also, check out. He's going to be defending that. Uh, well, yeah, what shows are coming up for you? have uh, Fight Society this weekend. We got Fights. Okay. And McKee Sport. Let me, let me get the list down real quick. There's a lot of them. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Friday, uh, Friday, I'll be in uh, Charleston, West Virginia for International Combat Sports. I think it's Dunbar. It's in the same area. So Saturday, Fight Society. Uh, next week, the 20th, I will be at Mid-Ohio Wrestling in uh, Maslin, Ohio, making my return there after a couple month absence. Then the 27th, I got Fight Society again. Uh, November 3rd is open, so if there's any companies that would like to use me that night, uh, facebook.com backslash beastmanhusk 
If not, I'm going to go watch my boys at KSWA. There you go. Then November 4th, I will be... Oh, no, I forgot. October 27th, I also have uh, <laughs> Chili Fest down in New Martinsville. Oh, this match. And Rise, uh, they have a fair show going on downtown. In downtown, so you're gonna be part of that too. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. a long day. Well, you tell them, tell them the match that was announced. You're gonna be a part of for the Chili Fest. It is a TLC match, which tables, ladders, and chili against <laughs> me and Gavin Jacobs. And when That's you nice. when you involve me and ladders, it doesn't end well. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> then November 4th, uh, Black Diamond at the Diamond Plex. Mm-hmm. Hold on here. I'm going to pull up my schedule. <laughs> There's a lot to remember. All the places. All the places. Let's see here. Sorry, Gif. Dang. Ah, here we go. All right. November. November 10th. Uh, got Real Shoot Wrestling in Fairmont. Uh, November 17th. Uh, November 16th, Modern Vintage Wrestling in New Jersey. Uh, November 17th, Mid-Ohio Wrestling in Maslin, Ohio. November 24th, uh, Fight Society in McKeesport. December 1st. That's my birthday. Uh, uh, December 1st, Rise Wrestling in... Uh, Rise Wrestling in Connellsville. December 2nd, Black Diamond. December 8th. Uh, I have uh, IWWA in Grafton, West Virginia, December 15th, Fight Society, uh, and that's it for my year. (laughs) It's your year. Yeah. (laughs) There you go. Hope you take note. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, chat room, for joining us. We'll see you guys next time where we'll have a special secret guest join us. It's not me. It's not you. No, it's not you. And we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.